NASA's International Space Station Program Manager. Holly Run. We are laying in the key foundational aspects with Gateway and beginning to lay in the demonstration for the human landing system to really lay the foundation for us going back to the moon and sustainably, you know, operating on the moon. And um, this isn't a dream anymore. We've got very, very concrete steps to go do that. We want to continue the international partnership and commercial engagement, not only the ISS, but also the Gateway, Lunar Surface, and even Mars. One of the reasons why we, we did the contract the way we did was so that the commercial companies had the opportunity to be able to, you know, sell the capabilities that they develop to give us services to other folks, and so that the capabilities that we work so hard together on are then there and available for, um, you know, U.S. citizens or international citizens out there to be able to experience uh, and be a space person too, you know. And so our goal is one day that everyone's a space person. And so um, this is just an exciting first step for that. Um, and we're very excited to see it starting to take off. This was the uh, first nighttime landing since Apollo 8. And I think it worked great. Uh, the lighting was good. Uh, there was no no additional traffic. Um, the the weather was just super, and and the wind conditions were just uh, perfect. We had a couple lessons learned from uh, the Demo Two mission. Uh, if if uh, people remember, we had some uh, slightly high hypergol readings. Uh, today we had none of that with the vehicle. It was it was performed flawlessly. And last time you may remember we had some uh, some boats in the area. Today, the United States Coast Guard uh, had several assets uh, on scene and patrolled that area. Reentry is hard, and the spacecraft was in beautiful condition, but you just worry as you go through the six minutes of, of calm blackout, and it was so great to hear Mike's voice and then see those drogues and the mains deploy so wonderfully, and the vehicle just come softly down and back to Earth and see the boats going out to pick up the crews and bring them home. Um, you know, uh, it's amazing. We've already got pictures of the crew out there, and uh, you can see, you know, Mike and Shannon and Victor and Soichi, they look like they did on the day they launched. And it's kind of hard to think about that that's a picture of them inside the crew capsule now on the recovery boat. All four crew members are doing really well. Um, Got the capsule on board, resilience on board, uh, SpaceX's recovery ship without any trouble, out, out of resilience. And as I was uh, walking over here, uh, the helicopters were, were there ready to, uh, to ferry them on to land. And so uh, the reports are all four crew members are, are in great shape and great spirits and doing really well. Uh, they'll actually sleep at our uh, astronaut quarantine facility here at the Johnson Space Center. It's really important when they've been up on the space station for six months and you know not exposed to the same things down here on Earth that they stay in quarantine a little bit longer, you know, while they're monitored by our our flight docs uh, after their return. And so they go straight into um, an exercise protocol that helps them uh, recover quickly. And and they'll be out and about not too long, but they but they do stay at a quarantine facility uh, for a little bit after their return. Let our participants get some much-deserved rest. Thanks to everyone for joining today.